Hi all, I'm so excited to be teaching you about Printer On today, an awesome new app available for free for you guys to use from the comfort of your own home. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. It's actually really easy to use, which I love, and I think you guys will enjoy it once you get the hang of it. So you'll download the Printer On app from your app store, it's free. So you will need to download that first. When it appears, it'll appear on your screen with um, like this right here, and we'll click on it. Now, the first and most important thing you need to do is um, to put in the library. As you can see at the bottom of my page, it says Washington Free Public Library, but when you first install the app, it will not have that. So you'll click on that bar next to the printer. It's going to ask you to search down here in the bottom of your screen and you'll click search. You'll enter what I have found, the zip code. It's the easiest thing to find our library. Some people have tried putting the name of the library and it's just much, much easier to do our zip code. It goes to the first option is us. Then you select if you would like Washington Free Public Library black and white or color. Black and white is 10 cents a copy and color is a dollar a page and I'm gonna pick black and white today. You'll see it at the bottom where it selected us. Now you can upload from where you would like to go. You can do documents email, photos, or web. So this is great for if you have something you would like printed on your um, device to get sent to the library. So if you click photos, you're going to want it to allow access to all your photos. And so you're gonna click that. So then you could pick something that you want to print. So you just click on it. It shows you a preview. At the bottom in red, it says cancel or print. So what you're going to do is hit print. You're going to be prompted to enter your email. And once you enter your email, a check mark is going to come up. It's really nice. And you'll just hit that check mark. And job started. See print history for details. So down at the bottom here is print history. And it was successfully sent. So the nice thing is after you do this, you can just give the library a call at 653-2726 and we'll set up a time for you to pick up that document. If you have another document you would like to load, you can click documents and then it would bring up all the documents you have on your phone and you can select one the same way. You can also link this to your email accounts to access an email. It's another great way for you to use it. If you have trouble linking this to your email, you can screenshot the, something you need taken off, put it in your pictures and print it from there, or save your attachments to your documents folder. You can also go to certain places on the web and um, if you had a specific website, like something from Food Network or something you wanted a recipe, you could also print it from here. It's really handy. Anytime you don't want to be in this area, the top left here, there's a white area and you click that. It'll remember when you use this um, app to know that you want the Washington Public Library. If you ever want to change it from black and white to color, you click on the bar again and you hit search and you put in the zip code again, hit search, and then you would just select on the color printer. And I'll just remind you that's a dollar per page. Um, if you ever decide you don't want what you sent, you just give us a ring. Um, it comes up by your email address so we'll know it's you, and we can always cancel it on our end too. So this is a really wonderful app. Like I remind you, it's printer on. Uh, I'm going to do another video of how you can actually do it from your computer, a web-based ba version as well. So we have two options. It's really handy. It's really slick to use. If you have any questions, any of the staff would be happy to talk you through. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.